Uh, I'm Fraser Pogue, we're in Ardmona where we farm, uh, predominantly irrigated with uh, growing most of your normal grain crops, uh, our main crop being corn and also getting into uh, doing a little bit of uh, cattle and hay as well. We're located in the Goulburn Broken catchment. Uh, the Beyond Soil Care grant uh, on our property was to look at different ways of managing our corn crop stubble uh, or residue. So we wanted to see what the differences were between retaining our stubble on the surface without cultivation versus burning and versus strip tillage. So the trial in a bit more detail, we basically had a section on, on drip tape, uh, irrigated by drip tape, and split that in half and we, we burnt half of it, the, the corn residue or the stubble that was there, we burnt. And on that burnt section, we no-tilled or direct drilled, planted our corn um, into half of that burnt stubble. And on the other half, um, we strip tilled into it and then planted our corn into those strip till lines. So strip tills uses a specialized bit of equipment um, that uh, cultivates about a strip about 10 inches wide um, for every 30 inches. So it only cultivates about one third of the paddock. We took the other half of the, the trial area and we, we didn't burn the residue or the stubble there. We just direct drilled into half of that, uh, no-tilled, planted straight into it. And on the other half, uh, we strip-tilled. Um, so we then uh, had, had a planter width for each of the different treatments and we could then go and do the soil testing uh, at the end of it and see the differences between the treatments. And we're looking at a standard soil test. So got bulk density soil testing done and penetrometer testing done and recorded the results there. And also uh, did plant population counts as well. And then at the end, we recorded the yield from each different treatment and the conclusion basically come out that the, the areas that weren't burnt, uh, where the stubble was retained on the surface, whether it was uh, strip tilled or no tilled, the stuff that were, the area that was retained in stubble seemed to produce a slightly higher uh, yield per hectare, about one tonne a hectare. Um, on a on a you know 16 ton corn crop, so the Beyond Soil Care funding was used to uh, provide the hire of the strip tillage machinery to to do the specialised strip tilling, and to do the chemical soil testing, and also the um, the bulk density testing and the penetrometer readings and and all the uh, labour required. So the other uh, interested parties in the project were um, the Mays Association who um, organised the trial with uh, Liz Mann and she uh, helped to do the testing and Nick O'Halloran uh, from the Victorian government uh, also overseeing that uh, the, the, the soil testing. Like so that root there, they've got all the soil sticking to the root, which is a great sign that there's uh, a lot of biology working around that root. Um, we've got a worm there which is doing a good job uh, lots of lots of roots lots of roots on the surface there too actually so and you can see in there that's worm castings a bit there so since the trial uh, ended a couple of years ago uh, and the results we got from that we we have continued with the practice that uh, the trial showed to be most most successful which was the the strip tilling and, and retaining those stubbles and it seems to be working uh, very well for us in our in our corn cropping enterprise. Yes, I, I think the trial was uh, well worthwhile. I, I learned a lot from it uh, in terms of, of how much impact 
uh, retaining that stubble on on the surface had we, we and, and we we did get a good outcome out of it or you could there was some take-home messages from it so I think it was a was a really good trial uh, to do.